tell us what we're going to do. We are going to make a mola mola fish. Yeah, we're going to draw a mola mola fish. And it's going to be, and we're going to make it different colors, even though it's not different colors, and it's art, so you can make anything. Yep. We just watched a video about a mola, which is a textile art that the Kuni tribes make in Panama. And when we watched that video, we saw all these different colors. And what else did you see? Uh, I saw black background, which made it like pop out. Yes. Really we, well. We call that contrast when we when we when the colors pop out really well. It's a good contrast. So we'll be using black and lots and lots of colors for our background around the mola mola fish. Um, and then we also saw a video about the molas. What are the mola mola fish? What is awesome about the mola mola fish? That it has like it's humongous. Yes. Like really big. Like giant. A hundred people big, basically. It was really big. Yeah. And it swims around in the deep ocean and then when it is cool and it gets freezing, it pops up to the surface and lays kind of flat along the surface of the water to, to warm up. And that's how people have found it and seen it before. And it's got cute eyes on its like, side oh. and little fins. Well, they're not really little, they're pretty big. Like this. <laughs> All right, so I hope you have fun. Let's get started. We are going to make our paper into a square. Do you know how to make your paper into a square? Yep. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna fold the corner over all the way to the edge until it's lined up. It doesn't have to be a perfect square. It's just We're to be trying like our best. Square. There we go. At least like square. Okay. That's gonna look like a square. And then this top rectangle, then we're gonna cut. Tap. Cut as like closest, but not add it. And I just drew a line. Thank you. Go. And now you don't need this part. You don't need the piece. You you don't need the rectangle. Right. You only need the piece that you cut off of the rectangle. Right. You're gonna smooth that out. Good job. What is the opposite direction? All right. So now we're gonna get a pencil. Uh, you can have a whole line I'll get it. Okay. And to start our fish, we are going to draw big cute eyes. Irk. Giant cute circles. And the bottom of the fish, we are going to draw a smile connecting the eyes. That's creepy. It looks a little creepy right now. Ugh. But once we put its cute smile. Now, if you don't, oh, let me draw the top too. So the top is on the fish, we're looking at the fish. So the top is gonna to be a little pointed and we're pretending like we are looking directly at, or the fish is looking straight at us. And they have these cute little fins on the side and you can draw them however you want. We just add some lines. Cute little fin on this side. Add some lines. It doesn't matter what they look like. I think it's hard to see in pencil. I'm going to do mine with Sharpie. You keep working with pencil. Yeah. But this is going to help people be able to see it if they can see it yep. nice and dark. And then big circles for the eyes. Irk. He looks like an egghead. It does. Looks just like silly. oh, just like ones I tried drawing Pikachu, egghead. Yeah. I mean not Pikachu, Sonic. Oh yeah. Remember he was an egghead. Yep. <laughs> It was pretty funny. And then he has one weird looking tail. So let's make this tail popping out from behind him. So his tail is back here in the background. And the way you can tell that that's the background, we can add a little shadow right here. We just add a little bit of pencil line and then I blend it in with my finger. That shows that that's in the background. It does? Mm-hmm. A little line, and then you push it in with your finger, smear That's a that cool line. Trick. Yeah. Well, Alright, so finger, but you can wash your hands out. I'm gonna use my little scrap paper here because I want to show you a whole bunch of different mouths. You can do a smile, you can do his tongue sticking out, you can they don't really have tongues, but um, you can do a surprise mouth. You can do where his mouth is open and then you see the tongue inside. These are all different kinds of faces. It's this is funny. a surprise. They're funny. Here's How do you make mad? Sad. How do you make mad? Mad? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Mad would be to do the eyes 
and he can have a meh face. But you gotta oh, put the eyebrows mad. down like that. I know, no, I know a different That's way to draw mad. mad. I, I know a different way to draw mad. Look, it's oh, kind of like. I through a little bit because I used a sharpie. It's kind of like happy, but it's not. Like this. Like this. Point it down. Oh, point it down like yes. this? Yes. Oh, that's a mad fish. <laughs> and then draw his mouth. If yes. you have paint, you can use paint. If yeah. you people have paint, I don't. All right, so I was thinking to show that he is underwater. We're going to add some bubbles. Bubbles? Oh, I know how to draw bubbles. And if you have a variety of sizes of bubbles, that helps us to know that some are closer and some are further away. Look how close that bubble is. Super duper close yeah. and big. <laughs> It looks like it's bigger than Well, him. the bubbles come out of his mouth, so the mind the bubbles are going up. Look, he's yelling bubbles. <laughs> we are going to draw a background. And like they did with all of the awesome Mola designs, they drew around their object with lines. They actually sewed it. With... Sewed? What? Yep. Because the a what? real Mola is made out of fabric so they just would sew these beautiful lines in all those different colors I feel like a mole mole fish is fake but it's not it's big I know it's a fun name mola mola I wish I ever I wish I caught it imagine catching it mm -hmm. never mind I don't want to catch it all right so we're gonna <gasps> be using um, colors now so you can use the black marker black. or black crayon <laughs> And then at some point, I might not want to continue to outline like this. I might want to draw other things. He's mad. What else should I draw in here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, lines, curvy lines, and curvy lines. lines. Every line. All right, so let's put some lines in the corners. One of each line. Ooh, I drew a triangle. One of each line. Okay. Oh, that's going to be hard. Ooh. How many different kind of lines are there, you think? Uh, 5,000 jillion. Good question. I feel like it. Good guess. I feel like there's more. Because there's a lot of... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Look, it's a box, but it's a triangle. But it, it's a box and a triangle. Yeah. See, it's a box. But you could work... Just work with the black crayon. Draw all your lines with the black. Erk. Then you don't have to trace over them. It saves you a step. Even though you can't erase it, you have to be very precise. Oh, never mind, you don't like You just gotta do it. Yeah, that's funny. Er, oh, that one's not equal, but eh. It's all right. We learned that there's a lot of different ways that molas were designed, right? With all those different examples. Erk, erk. Which was your favorite erk. mola design that you uh, saw in the video? Pikachu! <laughs> That was a cute that. one. Ooh, maybe I should make a uh, mole mole picture. Okay. How do I? I need yellow scalp. Because, wait. Or is his cheeks red? Um, his cheeks are red. Okay. I'm just going to outline those. Oh, that's even more mad. Oh, it's going to be mad Pikachu when he, he opens his mouth. Oh! Pikachu! Oh, man. He is definitely mad looking. So now I'm going to be filling in the background with shapes and lines. The more shapes and variety of lines that you create, the less big space that you have to fill in the background with. You'll see that Kian has a lot of background that he starts filling in with lines. And if you um, do it that way, you won't have specific shapes to color in and it might be harder to fill up all that background space. So I recommend large shapes that you can color in. Yep, since my mola mola fish is mola in the ocean, I'm gonna pick some ocean colors. Look. Mola two. Only three. Okay, you're right. This is a warm color, and that's a warm color. It's a pretty warm color. And these are cool colors. Urk, urk, urk. 